today was a very good day because I finally was able to have a conversation with Patty about the imposters. This is how it went. Thank goodness. How is it, John? I 
embrace it. But I need your help. Okay. Because the police don't believe me. Okay. And I need this cleared up. I need the man investigated. Because it's illegal to impersonate somebody from the sure, law. Sure it is. I mean, it gets se severe. I mean, I mean, it gets exactly. Exactly. And he keeps coming back. He renovated Arvid's house this summer. Oh. He's the one with the red brown hair. Yeah, I. Yeah. I, that's it's the same one. That's the imposter. They came in 2019 with, with, with an American friend. There was one that was white, and there was one that was African American. I don't remember that. Okay. Well, those were the two people. Yeah. And they were parked right here. Well, you, I, I, I can't see. For me to come home. Yeah, and I can't see. I can't. You know, over, the, over the, you know. I know. Joanne said that you have his uh, card, or you have his information. I don't think he left any information with me. I, I wonder why Joanne told me that yesterday then. I don't know why she told you that. Okay. I'll ask her why I knew she's referring to. Okay. Because I don't have, I don't, you know, that was a long time ago. That, yeah. You know, for me to check it out, but I, she might know something more than I know, but I, because she just gets a good memory. But I'll check it out, I'll, I'll see if there's something to know. Okay, yeah, these people are not legitimate. And whatever they said about me yeah. is not true. Well, they didn't speak much to me, ma'am. They didn't? No, not, no, they just didn't, uh, it was over with it done. It was a room like that, and it was, that was about it. I wonder why they, they impersonated the government, though. Sure. And nobody from the Secret Service would come in and talk to a neighbor about another neighbor, you know, and tell lies. Yeah. So they said that I was arrested in D.C. I was not. I was not arrested. I didn't get in trouble. What makes so, makes so much sense, Ram, what you're saying, because if they were, if, so they came to me and they thought uh, what they had was erroneous information. I mean, they didn't have any information. Right. So, anyways, it, it, it was a short encounter. I can't remember being more than a couple minutes. So, I didn't, you know, um, I didn't. I don't even remember, Ram, what happened, what he said. Or, I, mean, I don't remember the details that I should say. I would never be a good police officer. I, I know that Arvid obviously knows him much better. Yeah. And Arvid's refusing to talk to me on that. I also found Jayoon's iPhone leads my Wi-Fi network, which is illegal as well. So, uh, so say that again, Ram. His, his iPhone uh -huh. was linked to my Wi-Fi network. Oh, wow. So he was hooked up to my Wi-Fi network, and they gave him access to yeah. all of my devices yeah. that are on the network. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You know? But this this little... How do you say his name? Dr. Yoon. Okay. I, 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 I think her Chai Yoon. I, you know, I, didn't know. I have always said, I didn't really know how to pronounce it, but I've said Dr. Heron. But, yeah. In that horrible situation, he's from Korea, right? I think so. Well, that, did you hear about the 150 people that died from that? They were a party, and they started to run down this alley, and it was just 11 feet. And uh, somebody, you know, one person fell, and the next person fell on top of them. 150 people. Oh, my God. They were all young. I mean, they're all, you know, oh. it was uh, it's a tragedy. I'm going to guess. I mean, he could have, well, I don't know how big Korea is. But he could have yeah, somebody. I really don't know. Um, so so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what, what spurred all of the calls to the police and why Ned here comes over to your house all the time. Ned here is not coming over to my house. Yeah, I think they were there. I don't think they've ever come up the steps. Um, well, one person that has a license plate that has Annie B oh, on yeah. the back. Yeah, that's a Joanne's sister. Okay, okay. I overheard a conversation about math in the front porch. You know? Yeah. 
and then there's uh, there's um, the one time that there was a representative, it must have been from Netcare, because she said, well, we can't promise anything, but there will be testing and an evaluation. Obviously, they were planning to do another stay at detention. Yeah. On that me. could have been, I mean, that could have happened when so, you were with them. So what were you asking? I wasn't asking yeah. anything they came I mean, to me. I'm just you know, trying to figure it out. There's nothing wrong with me. Right. I'm being stalled by this man who pretended to be the government to you. And you're playing into it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not schizophrenic. I don't know what the problem is. I know that. I'm sorry. But the police are convinced that I'm super mentally ill. Well, they and I'm not. They shouldn't think that. And I need your help to get the police to go after this man. Because he should not have come into the neighborhood he and destroyed my life. He should not have. So, well, um, and I need it fixed. You know, I, yeah. So I don't know, maybe Kevin Connor, your friend on the police force, or any of the other people that you have been contacting. Yeah, but I don't remember. I, I don't remember. I, I, I think I spoke with, I don't remember. Kevin I, Connor, there was, that was the time that Netcare was there. That, the, those were all, I, don't I don't know who it is, but the police in Netcare are, they, are trying to target me, telling me, or telling everybody that I'm mentally ill, and they think that I'm making up the imposter of the Secret Service story. Yeah. And I'm not. Yeah. Because you've got the proof yeah. that they came to you. Yeah, I do have the proof. Is it? Yeah, and I need that. I've asked for over a year, and I'm at my wit's end. I'm losing my home, Patty, <laughs> because of it. That's a shame, ma'am. And I need it fixed. And I need you to help. So what are you going to do? I don't know. You don't know, but that's a shame. I don't know. know. I'm buying a smaller house in a shitty neighborhood. So you'll get a new neighbor. But this whole thing has destroyed my life. And you're a part of it. And so is Arvid. And I need it fixed. Yeah, I, I know. I, I'm at what's in just how to fix it. I need the police to investigate, and they're refusing to investigate. If you were to contact the police and say, these people came into the neighborhood pretending to be the Secret Service, because I know you believe that they were real sure, I when, when they came. Sure, they, and they didn't. Let me add, let me think about that. Um, I, the one had an FBI hat on, and the other one did not. They didn't show me any ID. Yeah, well, that's, that's, you know. I don't know where they came from. You know, I, I asked them where they were from because I was curious as to what on earth they were doing right here. And they said that they had an office down in the south end. Hmm. Tell me what I don't know. Really? I mean, it's destroyed my life. Yeah. Um, they're not connected to the government in any way. Yeah. I've got the guy's license plate number, but if you have his phone number or any contact information, I don't, it would be I'll check with, with Julian. Okay. So anyways, Brad, your piano is beautiful. Thank you. Are you playing it? Yeah. Good. Yep, that's great. And I, everything in my life has been destroyed over this whole thing. Yeah. And I need it fixed before I can move on. Yeah. Well, so, I'll, I'll, I'll go back and I'll check with Julian. Okay. About whether she has any, if, I, if she's saved any information I don't know about, I've forgotten about. And uh, I'll let you know. And maybe you can talk with Arvid too yeah. about giving me information where this guy came from. Yeah. I, I, and I know that uh, 437 Como, um, there's a, uh, there was a redhead who 
who's kind of younger, who has a mustache. I don't you know. I don't you know. I'm awesome. I don't, the only time I go on Como is I walk down the alley when I fall. Mm-hmm. And I don't go daily there. And, I, and then my nephew yeah. lives over there. Right. Right. That's not my, my only association with the, the neighborhood. But I see people when I'm walking, you see, after you've gone down it. Right. A thousand times. I mean, I know that you visited the neighbors directly behind uh, Bill and his wife. They I live in the White House I know, because I you stopped off there with your dog oh. the day after I told you that I was having trouble with them. Okay. So, I told you. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, and ma'am, I would never forget about how your dog, you kept your dog for 17 years and now. Okay. It's what caused everything to kind of escalate in my life and why I took the leave of absence. Once the leave of absence started, there was actual stalking by people in the neighborhood. I don't know why I was targeted by everybody. There's nothing going on here. No. No. I'm not a criminal. No. I'm not a drug dealer. Right. Here. So I don't get it. I don't understand what all of the So what shit is what about getting a job? What about focused on? What about getting another job, Ram? I I'm gonna to need to get a new house first. Uh, I I have to be concerned with moving. Um, well, son, you're, you're off good I'm having, yes. I'm having uh, a second showing today, so hopefully they like the house enough that I can get out from under it. I've lost my life savings because I've lived on my retirement account. And I, I don't have any money left. The neighborhood and this agenda to get me moved has made me poor. Wow. And you're a part of it. Well, I apologize. So I need it fixed. I need the police to look into and investigate the crime. Because if they, well, they pretended they were Secret Service. Secret Service. So, Secret Service. They, you know. So, well, who, yes, if somebody's seen your house for the second time. Yeah. So, hopefully, they'll like it enough. Well, sure. Uh, hopefully, there's just a, a, some peace someplace else. Yeah. I hope so. I hope that I, I, I have neighbors that aren't so interested in what's going on in my house. Yeah. Because what happens in yeah. my house is my business, and it's nobody else's. And the fact that I've got somebody next door linking up to my wife like that's, that, that's, 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 that's shitty. It is really shitty. And that's what, that's what the commotion was yesterday. I don't know if you knew or heard any of the commotion no. yesterday while they were raking leaves. No, I did not. Yeah. Um, the police came and I played for them the 911 tape and I, I, I said, Patty is scammed by this, by these two people. Yeah. She's clueless yeah, that's as true. to the fact that they violated the law and you're inviting them into your house. The art is meeting with them. It's it's really in trouble. So I have been trying to set this straight and right for years because I found out in June when I got the 911 tapes. Rachel, two, two doors down, said to the police, Rachel, oh sure, they who moved. moved. Yes, exactly said to the police in the 911 call that she knows I do pot and that I was either on or did opioids. I don't know where she got her information from. But both those things are wrong. And I've got medical records that prove it. That's great, man. So the police aren't following any of my requests. Leads. They don't believe me. And I think they're not following my leads because they're trying to protect yeah. you and all of it. Because anything you would have said to the police, they came from them. And you could have said, well, the government said and then repeated a lie to them. I can't even remember. I know. My memory is so bad lately. Uh, Maybe the police will remember because I, they should remember. I've, I've never been treated the way that I have 
by anybody yeah. so poorly as the police. The police treat me like shit. Yeah. And I think it's because they were trying to please you, trying to get you moved. Yeah, I, because there was an agenda. Yeah, I, I, I can't speak to that. This was years ago. can't speak to that. Well, you had a big meeting in your living room with all the neighbors, and a man pulled up with a big stack of paper. He was the only one that drove. So I don't know what type of meeting it was. I, I don't remember that. But I wasn't invited. Well, I can't remember. They all stood in your living room, which I can see from my windows. I, I, and I went around the block, and when I went around the block, I could hear the same conversation coming out of different houses. So there must have been some sort of podcast about me. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm i not well, privy to podcasts. I yeah, the meeting happened in your living room, and I suspect the man that had big stack papers yeah, I can't remember came that. to talk about I me. I can't remember that, man. Okay. How long ago was it? Years ago. I can't. It was before 2019. Yeah. But, you know, I would think that you would remember I, I, I guess not. Yeah. I, but this whole thing has really created a problem. Yeah. So, Graham, let me ask you about your house. Uh, what's the asking price, if you don't mind if I ask? I know it's probably Three, not. 370 Okay. It's way below where it should be, but there's work that needs to be done to it, and I can't afford to have it done, so I'm trying to get out. What do you have to, what has to be done? I... Put a hole in the in the wall, okay. trying to open up the yeah. kitchen and dining room oh. into one Good. living space. But yeah. I ran out of I I, I don't know what I'm doing, yeah. so I just stopped and left the hole there. So there's that, and then I took out part of the wall to make a shelving unit yeah. and use some of the closet space, and it's not. Okay. Um, so that it needs to be paint. You know, there's just things that need to be done. Yeah. And I cannot afford to do renovations yeah. to my house. So. Well, I'm glad you have at least retired from Columbus Public or whatever. Well, I'm spending it to live. Yeah. That's the problem. I'm running out of money, and, it's, and I don't get Social Security, so I'm fucked. Yeah. You, you don't get Social Security because you didn't put that. Um, Right now, whatever is fine, you can call it something. Right. Well, we're on, I'm going to go check to see if Julian has the card or anything like that. Okay. And uh, boy, this floor looks great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and and if you can call the police or okay, well, or I'm or you know if the, if all of us can sit down, I know that when Officer Lutz gave you a call because he was assigned oh, that's to, to my case, um, you told him that you, you didn't want to have a meeting with the three of us. I know. So, I don't know how that happened. Well, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to find out. I'll try to find okay. out if I have anything. I, mean, and have anything. I, I don't want you to get into trouble. I'm trying to help you. Well, I appreciate that. So, we need to work together. I'm really sorry, Brandon. Uh, you're having to be so much trouble. I appreciate it. Thank you, Patty. I'll talk to you soon, okay? okay. You have my number. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Please let me know. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jim. Uh, Patty. I tell Joanna I said hi. Okay. That was that. Happy Halloween to the police. Trick or treat, because I'm not tricking you, but I'm going to treat myself. Have a good night.